Well, it's official. Thanks to movie magic, dead actors can continue their craft, and a woman who's 25 as of this year can play a 10-year-old. Orphan First Kill, a prequel to the surprise hit Orphan about a 10-year-old girl who's harboring a dark secret. There is something wrong with Esther. That was the tagline. And when the plot was revealed, oh boy, was that a shock. <clears throat> this prequel um, takes us back to events before the first film. Back to the family that, uh, unfortunately, Esther glommed on to uh, <clears throat> prior to the events of the first film. And it was not pretty. I mean, it was a good movie, but let's just say it was brutal. First off, Isabel Furman, still an amazing actor. And the effects used to de-age her, using forced perspective, uh, body doubles, and makeup, it was darn near perfect. I'm so glad they went with this instead of CGI. CGI would have made her look too plastic, and yeah, she does look a little uncanny at times, but that just helps you be more unsettled by her appearance. It's like it's like a shape-shifting demon, and this particular demon knows that little girls are harmless and they, and can therefore be uh, 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 useful as tools in said demon's arsenal. Um, <clears throat> the rest of the cast, including Julia Stiles, are pretty good. The, um, the family, I'm not going to spoil it, but let's just say there's a twist that you don't see coming, and... Honestly, you don't know who to root for, Esther or the family. Um, the wrap-up was a bit on the quick side, but not too quick. The pacing was really decent, especially post-twist, because you do not know where it's going to go from there, or what's going to happen. Um... The ancillary characters, some of whom we don't get to see uh, for more than a few minutes, are actually pretty good. Um, especially the uh, denizens of the mental hospital in Estonia. Um, it makes you want to know more about this character. You know, who was her actual family? What? caused her to strike out on her own and <clears throat> is there any redeeming quality to such a creature um, the runtime a bit of a slow burn but it definitely picks up in the final act the setting um, the dead of winter beautiful desolate um, we see some technology used, but technically it did exist in 2007, so that's not too much of a hiccup, if you do the research. Um, <clears throat> overall, I would say First Kill is a pretty decent sequel, well, actually prequel, to... A horror flick that really subverts your expectations. Some time ago, someone did a Orphan vs. Chucky fanfiction, which was really good. And though it'll probably never be made, um, there's hope we'll see more of Esther and her escapades. This is one orphan you might regret taking home, but then again, She's just so adorable. This is Mr. J signing out and reminding you, real orphans 
are not necessarily psychopaths. Uh, the foster system is in desperate need of funding and resources. <clears throat> and every kid deserves a home. <clears throat> Even if time and the elements have turned them hard and cold. They just need a shot.